So a lot's been going on since I've been away. So I'm now back on the farm. I'm back home for a few weeks in Easter. Let me go and show you. I'm just going to open the gate so I can get out because I'm going to go and collect some muck to put on my pumpkin patch. So I'm already prepping for that. Oh, I just gave it away that I'm doing it again. And they've been doing a lot of concrete. So that's quite interesting. Let's go and see this. Whoops. Just going to get the gate. Dan and I are on our way and Dan's going to turn the radio off just quickly to go um, fertiliser spreading in the ATAR. Look at all these trees that they've planted since we've been away. How many did you plant? Can you remember? Um, or just a lot? 26,000. 26,000 of these trees hedge of, of hedge plants have been planted since I've been away. That was a job I missed out on. Don't know whether that's lucky or not. <laughs> it's quite hard work because I remember we did some a while ago. And I did um, quite a few of Martin Bartholomew as well. And that took a good, a good time. So uh, that's pretty impressive. So we're going into Bob's Field now. So we've got some wheat, wheat in Bob's Field. Um, you can see it's a little bit yellow, slightly yellow. Um, I think that means it wants a little bit of fertiliser, which is what we're doing. You might wonder why we've got the fertiliser spreader on the ATAR. That is because we have no other tractors left at the minute. So this is the one we're going to be using. But everything's looking pretty nice. Um, but that yellowing is really just it wants feeding. Like, you know, like we all want food, the crop wants some food as well. So we're going to do some fertilising now. Make sure our boundary limit is on. That's what we're doing now. Putting our coverage map in over there, up in that. See this? This is what we're doing at the minute, the display, that's it. I need to get my words right. So we're just going around the boundary. We have, um, we have shut off on this on this uh, spreader as well so it doesn't overlap it doesn't we've also got boundary control so it won't flick it into the hedge um, or onto the road or into the margin that we don't want it to which is better for the environment and better for us because we can save money not spreading it everywhere we don't want it to go mm, it's a little bit muddy it's not too bad though Sandy. <clears throat> so we are applying urea and which is nitrogen and polysulfate which is sulfur and what is it? Sulfur? Uh, polysulfate. Uh, sulfur uh, and Magnesium, magnesium, potash, potash yeah, and phosphate, that's it, um, forgot, and so that's what we're applying at the moment to the crop, so uh, the nitrogen is obviously the growth inhibitor, oh, beep, and um, at the beginning of April all fertiliser has to have a, um, a coating on it, so this coating basically stops volatilisation which is nitrogen going to the atmosphere which is bad for the environment, you would say. Um, so farmers now have a coating that goes on their fertilizer which stops that from happening, which is better as well because instead of losing it to the atmosphere, we lose it back into the ground uh, to our crops. So we're getting a better nitrogen efficiency. Um, so that is what we're applying. And um, we're applying it at 78 
kilograms a hectare only because we only have a little bit left so we're just putting that little bit on this field normally we probably go a bit higher um but i don't know has this had anything before yeah this is just topping up we're just topping up so i'm a bit out we the didn't loop. have quite enough on when we went over it last time so we're just topping it up so we have got enough so because it's a little field it doesn't matter if we have to kind of retravel we kind of prevent retraveling due to you know to help with the soil but if we have to it's only a little field and it's a good field to re-top up so now we've set it up for auto uh section control basically now we can just drive the field and it will turn it on and off whenever we want it will switch it on when and then when we get to the end where we've already spread it will turn it back off again Oh, Dan likes to use the Command Pro nowadays. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a professional. You, know? you like it now? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Best thing ever. Hit that, that button, that noise means uh, it's going to drive itself for us now. So Dan won't touch it. We turn it on. We set the speed at 18 kilometres an hour. A bit fast. So Dan's set it now down a bit lower. And as you can see, the tractor's following the tram lines. That's shoving the fertiliser out and off we go. So this gate is obviously as you, you can see it as you come into the yard but it's so heavy to try and push sometimes but I remember when I was younger ages ago I spent ages painting this and my overalls were absolutely covered so I put red oxide on which is a red paint to stop it from going rusty then painted it with John Deere green. So Dan's just about to go off with the digger He's going to just play, I think, really, and sort a few bits and bobs out. There's the concrete over there um, that's been going on. So we're gonna have concrete all the way out. It's gonna look absolutely lovely. Um, so the boys have been busy with that. I'm going to quickly come to the house with me. I'm going to go and get a drink before I go and collect some muck. It's not too far away, but it's half an hour and I'm a little bit thirsty but it's always best to be prepared <coughs> our cooker also is broken it went on fire so salads for dinner and anything for the barbecue mind you look at the weather we could eat oh there's mum doing her plants <laughs> there's spot hi spot right got my water and my John Deere bottle <laughs> Let's go and see what all this noise is about that Dan is doing. Oh, he's swapping buckets over. You know the digger gal, she's on YouTube. Dan's the digger man. Oh, hey.
there's one pad there's the other so it's all going on here that's it done leave the bucket right in the middle so i can't get past <laughs>